Well, good day, Dr. Peterson. Thank you for joining me here live in Dallas, Texas on the Founder BB Show. Oh, it's great to be here. Thank you. Well, I like talking to you because your topics are always about my audience. You want to help us stay healthy. What can you help us with, especially over the holidays? Well, first that I recommend that if you do get sick, please stay home and rest so that you can get healthy more quickly and so that you don't spread your germs to other people. And, you know, there is no cure for a cold or for a flu. So really, all you can do, Valder, is treat your symptoms. And there's many good options over-the-counter available. I happen to like two good options are Vicks Dayquil and NyQuil Severe because they treat multiple symptoms and they have a maximum strength amount of medicine. So they have acetaminophen for aches and fever. They have dextromethorphan for cough and phenylephrine for congestion. So you get a lot of bang for your buck with that. Dr. Peterson, what about these new drugs or these over-the-counter drugs that I'm seeing that it says it'll reduce your cold and flu time by a day and a half or something like that? That's pretty new to me. Well, what, we're, what I was just mentioning will alleviate symptoms you're experiencing. There are some options available that can shorten the duration of your cold. Zinc lozenges can help shorten the duration of your cold as well. That's correct, Valder. That is good to news to hear. All right, what else you got to keep us healthy? Well, another thing to consider is investing in a humidifier. During the winter months, it's very dry, and it can be irritating to your nasal passages. And by using a humidifier, you not only can relieve <clears throat> cold and flu symptoms, but also it can help suppress the flu virus from multiplying. And VIX has a new cool moisture humidifier that keeps your level of humidity just right. It releases a cool mist into the air that's very soothing. So that's and this t- is a humidifier like we used to use with our children, perhaps? You know, we always think of humidifiers as being associated with our kids, but they, they work for adults too, and even consider putting one in your office because they, they do help make you feel a little better if you're sick. And, and the last thing, Valder, I, I recommend is to be prepared. So wash your hands regularly, carry a hand sanitizer in case you don't have access to soap and water, and carry tissues on you that are a bit more soothing if you do have a runny nose. So, for example, Puffs Plus Lotion will soothe your irritated skin, and it locks in moisture better than regular tissues. And then lastly, try to avoid stress and get lots of sleep. I'd love you to come back and talk about what stress does because I hear it more and more and how it is impacting our body and our diseases and our immune system. But also, too, I have a favorite channel I love to watch where the people cook. Uh, Dr. Carey, I won't name them. And no one ever washes their hands before they get to the table. Is that appropriate? It's absolutely inappropriate. You should absolutely wash your hands before you eat and before you prepare food because the most common way that we spread germs is through our hands into our nose, eyes, and mouth. Well, you guys heard it from Dr. Gary Peterson. Wash those hands. That's something you can actually do. Dr. Carey, thank you so much, and happy holidays. You too. Thank you. And you can learn more at womenshealthmag.com and vix.com. Thank you so much. Thank you.